So let's do it. This is Talk About a Thing. And now your host, Parala Hummer. Welcome to episode 16 of Talk About a Thing. Today, we're diving deep into the dynamic landscape of the Chinese market. As the world watches China's meteoric rise, it's no surprise that experts predict it will surpass America as the largest consumer market by 2034. Like many nations, China faced challenges during the pandemic, but it's now on the path to recovery and resurgence. For global brands, this vast nation continues to offer unparalleled opportunities. In this episode, we'll explore nine unique traits of today's Chinese consumers that every global business should be aware of. So, let's unpack the complexities of this thriving market. China has totally jumped on the online shopping bandwagon. I mean, just look at the numbers. According to e-commerce DB, China is already the biggest e-commerce market globally, and they're projected to rake in nearly $241 million in revenue by 2023. What's hot in this online shopping spree? Well, it's all about electronics, fashion, food, and personal care. Chinese consumers are leading the pack when it comes to shopping through social media platforms. It's important to note that the Chinese government restricts access to Western social media giants like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter due to non-compliance with local laws and regulations. Instead, China boasts its own thriving social media ecosystem, featuring platforms like WeChat, Sina Weibo, which is akin to Twitter, and the video sharing site Yuku Tudu. According to Statista's projections, the number of social media users in China is expected to exceed 1.2 billion by 2027. What's particularly noteworthy for businesses and marketers is the extensive use of social media for shopping in China. This nation holds the title of the world's largest social media market, with a staggering 84% of Chinese consumers utilizing social media as a shopping avenue, as reported by Influencer Marketing Hub. In contrast, a mere 36% of Internet users in the United States engage in social media shopping. China's penchant for social commerce aligns seamlessly with its love for mobile devices, making online shopping incredibly convenient. Statista predicts that the number of mobile e-commerce users in China will surge from 418 million in 2016 to over 1.1 billion in 2023. Remarkably, Chinese online shoppers predominantly use mobile devices for their purchases, emphasizing the necessity for any business targeting this market to adopt a mobile-first approach. Chinese shoppers embracing premium and luxury products. Well, isn't this interesting? Chinese consumers are mixing things up in the shopping world. It used to be all about practicality and value, but now they're indulging in premium and luxury products. According to Jing Daily, by 2030, China is expected to account for a whopping 40% of the world's luxury consumers. Who's leading the charge, you ask? Millennials and Gen Z shoppers are at the forefront of this luxury shopping trend. Santander Trade even notes that China has claimed the title of the world's largest luxury goods market. And here's a real shocker. Even in the turbulent years of the pandemic, sales of personal luxury goods soared by 48% in 2020 and 36% in 2021. So, China's got a taste for the finer things, and they're not holding back. Social proof, the heavy hitter in Chinese shopping. When it comes to making decisions, Chinese consumers take social proof very seriously. That means they're closely considering online reviews, the endorsements of influencers, and recommendations from friends and family. According to Marketing Minds, a staggering 48% of Chinese shoppers put their trust in what influencers have to say when they're on the hunt for bargains. And let's not forget about KOLs, those key opinion leaders with massive followings on social media platforms like WeChat. 
Their opinions carry significant weight. Emerging generations at the helm of the shopping scene. While millennials and Gen Z are shaking things up globally, in many Western countries, older generations like Gen X and Boomers still wield considerable shopping influence. But in China, the situation is quite different. Emerging generations are steering the ship. According to Xu Zan, a significant portion of China's consumer market consists of individuals born in the 1980s. They're primarily concentrated in major cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen. These consumers are not only financially better off, but also more discerning when it comes to brand recognition and product quality. So, keep an eye on these trendsetters. Health-related products are a big hit. So, let's talk about health-conscious Chinese consumers. They're really into staying healthy these days. Shuzan says a whopping 73% of them are willing to shell out extra cash for healthy and organic products, way above the average. If you're in the business of selling organic foods and supplements, you've got a golden opportunity in China. Now, in 2022, Expanter did some digging and found out that the most sought after healthy foods in China include honey, red dates, goji berries, and good old American ginseng. Oh, and don't forget that Chinese folks are all about those healthy snacks. Chinese shoppers want more personalized service. Now, when it comes to customer service, things are a bit different in China. See, in Western countries, we're used to a bit of impersonal service, like talking to chatbots or dealing with those automated phone trees. But in China, customers want it up close and personal. They're all about getting service tailored just for them, especially when it comes to e-commerce. They like chatting directly with the folks they're buying from. Why, you ask? Well, one big reason is the issue of counterfeit products floating around on these platforms. COVID's impact on China's economy. China faced some serious lockdowns, and it hit their population pretty hard. Even though their economy is on the road to recovery, the consumer market hasn't quite bounced back to its pre-COVID glory. This pandemic has shaken up a few industries that were big with consumers. Now, health is booming, and so are sports and outdoor activities. COVID also pushed China to go all in with mobile phones. During those lockdowns, folks had to download a health code to their phones which was their ticket to everyday stuff like shopping and going to businesses. So mobile phones became the go-to for everything. But hey, there's hope on the horizon. In 2023, China's economy seems to be getting back on track, especially in the e-commerce world. Alibaba, for example, saw their shares jump 6% after their earnings beat expectations. And part of this might be because China is easing up on those strict COVID restrictions. Fingers crossed for brighter days ahead. Let's talk about the latest shopping craze that's taking China by storm. Live stream shopping. It's like a mashup of social media, your favorite influencers, and your trusty mobile phone, all rolled into one. Business Insider even dubbed it QVC on steroids. And trust me, it lives up to the hype. Here's the deal. You download a mobile app, and then influencers come in showing off products and chatting with viewers in real time. It's like a virtual shopping party where you can buy stuff as you watch. And guess what? These live stream shopping sessions are absolute gold mines. In just a few minutes, they can sell thousands of products. No kidding. McKinsey says this live shopping thing is already a massive $171 billion market. So it's not just a trend, it's a shopping revolution. China's economy, youthful and full of energy. Now let's zoom out a bit and take a look at the big picture. China's economy is a real powerhouse, and it's got a youthful and dynamic vibe to it. Despite all the twists and turns in politics and the economy, there are some pretty solid factors at play here. First off, the middle class in China is growing like crazy. And those younger shoppers? Well, they're really driving the show. Their spending habits are like jet fuel for China's growth, especially when it comes to e-commerce and social media shopping. So, 
Don't be surprised if China continues to shake up the world of shopping in the years to come. The future looks pretty darn bright. That's a wrap for today's episode. We've delved deep into the fascinating world of modern Chinese consumers and their evolving shopping habits. From their love for live stream shopping extravaganzas to their insatiable appetite for premium products, it's clear that China's consumer landscape is dynamic and ever-changing. As we've learned, the growth of China's middle class and the influence of younger shoppers are steering the nation towards exciting prospects, particularly in the realms of e-commerce and social media shopping. So, keep your eyes on this vibrant market because there are undoubtedly more surprises and trends on the horizon. If you found this episode informative and engaging, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our future discussions. And if you have any thoughts, questions, or topics you'd like us to explore in upcoming episodes, please drop us a line. We love hearing from you. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep talking about the things that matter. Thanks for joining us on Talk About a Thing. You've been listening to Talk About a Thing. Parala has lived an interesting life. From life as a foreigner in Shanghai to social media and technology in China, web development, programming, working online, freelancing, he covers a lot. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, hit us up on all the social media networks at Parallel Hummer. See you next time on Talk About a Thing.